The deadliest Javelin anti-tank missile is ready for the battlefield. Unlike previous Javelins that required rounds to be changed to suit the target, the FGM-14F has several combined charges in its multi-purpose warhead. Production of the most lethal version of the Javelin anti-tank missile ever made is complete with the hardware ready for shipping this fall, as reported by Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Technologies in May. The two companies that joined forces to build the shoulder-fired FGM-148F Javelin added that more than 500 missiles have already been made and have been sent to Troy, Alabama for final assembly. Here's what makes this F-Series Javelin deadlier than its predecessors. The Buck via a multi-purpose warhead. Unlike previous Javelins that required rounds to be changed to suit the target, the FGM-14F has several combined charges in its multi-purpose warhead. On the new F-Series, a fragmenting steel case is designed to take out light-armored targets, while those with considerably more external protection would be subject to such features as blast fragmentation and a high-explosive anti-tank charge. Who's buying? So far, none of the parties involved with the new Javelin ramp-up are identifying potential clients, although Poland is likely interested. The country inked a deal with the US in 2016 to purchase 180 Javelins and 60 launchers, although it's just as likely Poland might receive what's left in the E-Series inventory first. Other European allies might also be interested in a warhead capable of destroying vehicles covered in explosive reactive armor, namely Russian tanks. Taiwan's also been asking about purchasing US tanks equipped with Javelin weapons to take out Chinese tanks with similar armor. Who's buying? Clients might still be unknown, but there's no denying the Javelin's wartime track record since the missile was first deployed in 1996. Seeing much of its action in Afghanistan and Iraq, more than 5,000 Javelins have been launched in combat by American and coalition forces. The U.S. expects to keep the missile in circulation until at least 2050. The Javelin anti-tank missile win the battle for Donbas? Can the Javelin tank killer keep up the pace in Ukraine? So far, this top-notch anti-tank missile system has been one of the stars of the Ukrainian army. You can find numerous photos and videos of obliterated Russian tanks and armored vehicles that have died at the hands of the Javelin. But combat is entering its second phase in the Donbas region. This fight will entail armored maneuver warfare on flat steplands instead of urban or forested terrain, in which Ukrainian troops set up deadly ambushes with the javelin. The combat in Donbas will instead likely entail the defenders firing from trenches at advancing tanks, a different use case for the venerable should fired missiles. Scary threat for Russia. By now, Javelin puts the fear of God in Russian tankers. The missile can take a straight low-level trajectory or more dangerously, streak in an upward arc, and then strike downward mightily on top of the tank's turret. Crews never know what hit them when the tank is taken out or badly damaged at the very least. Russians will use artillery to prep the battlefield. But the Russians are getting used to the Javelin, and they hope that a shock and awe artillery barrage against Ukrainian positions in Donbas will eliminate fighters using the weapon. Russian armored columns may also travel behind hunter-killer helicopters that can also thin the ranks of Ukrainian Javelin operators. An estimated 7,000 Javelins have been donated to Ukraine since the invasion. They are so popular that Ukrainians sing songs that laud their prowess on the battlefield. The United States placed the Javelin in its inventory in 1996. Here, it has seen many improvements since then. Live fire attack. The fire and forget system means it is not wire guided, which eliminates the need for an operator to guide the missile to Paydirt. A soldier just has to acquire a target, launch, and then head to another covered and concealed position during the missile's flight. Is the American supply drying up? The United States has given the Ukrainians so many javelins that there are concerns the Americans may run out of the anti-tank system. One-third of its arsenal may be depleted. It is estimated that there are about 37,700 javelins that have entered the army inventory over the years, but only 20 to 25,000 remain. It takes over two years to make a javelin, which means it will take many months to replenish stockpiles.
the defense can be more effective. That's probably fine with the defenders because there are more Javelin missiles than there are Russian tanks. The combat in Donbas will be decisive and could influence the outcome of the war. The defense in armored warfare is sometimes better than the offense, and that paradigm has played out in favor of the Ukrainians so far. The ambush is on. In the Donbas, the defenders can create kill zones or ambush sites that use an array of anti-tank missiles and mines to deny access to Russian tanks. The armor would be forced to avoid the minefields, and this movement would then put them in the sights of the javelin. The Ukrainians could then sing that song about the javelin with glee. Unit. They were taught target engagement, scouting patrolling methods, thermal defeat methods, as well as misfire procedures and hang fire or in immediate actions for the javelin weapon system. And then here at the armory to engage actual missiles in a notional environment. Most of extreme force multiplier. It also increases the morale of our troops because it gives them great things to fire that they wouldn't ordinarily. Forces exchanged anti-tank warfare tactics and weaponry to achieve what the Marines call interoperability.